I think uh, the Ukrainian President Zelensky invited Antonio Guterres and Recep Tayyip Erdogan because he was impressed by their persuading Russian President Putin to set up this grain export operation. However, the burning issue today is what is happening at the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant, where the Russians are launching attacks on Ukrainian troops, but the Ukrainians cannot reply in kind for fear of an artillery shell hitting a nuclear reactor uh, and uh, releasing a catastrophic amount of radiation. Now, Erdogan is known to have a certain influence with Putin. I'm sure that's why he is there today. And I think Zelensky and Guterres will explore with Erdogan possible formulas for defusing the situation at Zaporizhzhia, uh, ideas that Erdogan might take back to Putin and persuade him to implement. Uh, in addition, the Turks say there will be a one-on-one -on -one meeting between Zelensky and Erdogan, and I wouldn't be surprised if those talks focus on Turkey selling more military drones to Ukraine. Now, meanwhile, uh, Jasper, Guterres is to go to Turkey later on this week to monitor those vital grain exports from Ukraine to African and Middle Eastern countries that go via Turkey. Um, the deal was agreed a few weeks ago now. How well does it appear to be working? Well, it appears to be running very smoothly. It's a rare success story in this bloody conflict. Guterres will be visiting the Joint Coordination Center, which was created in Istanbul after the deal was signed on July the 22nd. And the signing of the deal was witnessed by Guterres and Erdogan, signed by Russian and Ukrainian cabinet ministers. Now, this Joint Cooperation Center in Istanbul, uh, monitors the ships going to Ukraine, leaving Ukraine, going through the Ukrainian minefields and passing through the Bosphorus Straits and so on uh, out to the Mediterranean. It's staffed by Turks, UN officials, Russians and Ukrainians. Now, since the operation began at the beginning of this month, 24 ships have sailed from Ukrainian ports carrying almost 600,000 tons of various kinds of grain. And it's known that the Ukrainians would like the deal to be expanded to include other exports. At the moment, the exports are limited to just grain and fertilizer. The France 24 correspondent in Kiev, Robert Parsons, was telling us today that Ukraine says it's got more than 20 million tons of grain in storage and it expects to harvest another 25 million tons this year. So there should be, if all goes well, 45 million tons of grain to export. The spokesperson of the Joint Coordination Center, Ismini Pala, uh, told me this morning that eight days ago, the center issued uh, its formal procedures two shipping, uh, uh, shipping lines, freight companies. And she said that now applications from ships willing to go to Ukraine were just piling up. 